Hey y'all, welcome back to another SaltWise video. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to make one of these rig boards very, very easily. We're coming up on the 2023 spring fishing season where there's gonna be a lot of pompano, whiting, and all kinds of various beach species that you can catch right off of the surf. So what we have here is a scrap piece of wood. Some perfectly good rig boards here, guys. This is, happens to be a two by eight. We've cut it down to 40, about 42 inches. We have a peg here for our spool. We have three pegs centered at five inches apart. Um, these pegs right here, these main pegs are actually 16 inches apart. And then these pegs happen to be about 21 to 22 inches apart. And what that's gonna do is give you a pompano rig that is about 20 to 22 inches between the top drop and the bottom drop. So that gives you that variance in the water column. Over here at the end, we have this metal clip that you can pick up at the hardware store at Walmart. Uh, we've got a little bit of tape right here, some duct tape, just so that it's nice and easy on the line so that you don't get any frayage. At the end of the video, we're gonna be tying a pompano rig on here, but first I wanna show you a simple way to go about making one of these boards. Don't worry about what size board you have. Try to get something that's at least seven, eight inches wide. So a two by eight will work good, but any scrap material that you have will work. Um, I recommend taking the drill bits that you have and taking them down to Walmart or wherever you decide to buy your rods and matching them up to the size of the rod that you um, would like to use. That way you don't have to buy any extra drill bits. You can just go ahead and drill down into the board and then set those in. If you have a little bit of glue and it, you have a loose peg, you're able to uh, tighten that peg up a little bit. So that's one thing also that I'd recommend to do. As far as line goes, I'd recommend using fluorocarbon. So you go ahead and put the spool on your peg, wrap around, bring this around so that you have these two layers of line right here and then bring this all the way down to the second group and make sure that you have these two layers of line and then you just go ahead and clip right here. That's nice and tight and we're about ready to tie. So when you're tying, you just have these two lines and you're gonna be spinning these lines up over each other. Usually I like to go about seven or eight times around um, and then that'll give you a good tie. So once you've done that, you're gonna take this line and bring it through that opening. So then you pull that through and then you bring that up to this peg right here. Now, if you didn't have this peg set back and receded, this line would get awfully tight. So that's why we've set the board up that way. We're gonna go ahead and move down here and do the same thing. We have our lines twisted um, on both droppers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these lines and slide them up over the back. And then you keep it tightened up here on this top peg and you pull nice and tight. And then you're gonna see you get that really, really nice tight uh, tie there. And then we're just gonna move down and do the same thing down here. Pull it nice and tight. And now we have our drop rig tied. Now that you've got them nice and tight, you can see that these are the quality of what you would get at the tackle shop uh, with the $6 rig. So now all we need to do is slide our floats and our beads and our hooks. And we've got a distance of about 20 inches, 20 to 22 inches apart from both of these drops. Here's the necessary tackle to tie one of these pompano rigs. We've got some floats here. We've got some hooks. These are not straight shank hooks. I'd recommend using straight shank hooks. Uh, I just am out of them right now. And then a swivel and then your weight. You can also get a clip they, it's a little bit extra tackle, but uh, I'm going to show you a way that you don't need to use a clip. Uh, when we tie it up, we're just going to simply use a, a surgeon's loop that we can still remove our weight from that way. So we're going to start at the bottom of the rig and work our way up. And what we're going to do is tie a surgeon's loop, and that's what our weight is going to connect to. You're simply folding the line over itself, wrapping that around your fingers like so, bringing that loop through at least twice. I like to go three times. And then once you've done that, you can pull that. Make sure that you give a little bit of space here and then pull that nice and tight. And that's gonna be what you're gonna use to connect your weight to. Now we're gonna be putting our float and our hook on. So we're just gonna go ahead and come down here, tighten this line down with our fingers like so. And then send that through. 
once that comes through, that's where we're going to attach our hook. I like to make sure that I'm sending the line in the right way, so just make sure that you send it in through the back of the eye, and that'll help give a little bit more space for the mouth of the fish to get into that hook set. So you send that through, and all you have to do is just bring it around. That provides a tight enough connection. So then you've got your hook and you've got your float. The reason you send it in through the back of the eye is so that when you get that bite, you've got that hook set opening up a little bit more. So you've got more room for the mouth to get onto that pinpoint. If you send it in the other way, it would kind of tighten up that hook going this way. And then again, I recommend a straight shank hook. These happen to be octopus, but if you can get your hands on some straight shank, they work a little bit better in my opinion. Same thing for the top drop. We're just gonna simply send the line through that float. And then we're gonna pinch our line down, send it in through the back of the eye, bring it up and wrap it around. And now you've got your float and your hook on there. When attaching your swivel to go to your main line, I recommend using a Palomar knot. You could also use a uni knot. The Palomar knot is simply line folded over itself, wrapping around like so. So then you've got this piece right here, and then you're gonna send your swivel through that opening right there, and then pull nice and tight after you wet your line. We're working back from the bottom of the rig here, we have our surgeon's loop that we tied at the beginning. We're gonna send that through the eye of your pyramid sinker. You're gonna pull that loop there up over your sinker and bring it back up like so, and then you tighten that off. And then that's really easy to interchange if you have different surf con conditions and then you don't have to spend that money on a clip. All right, so we have our rig all the way tied. We've got our sinker with our surgeon's loop. We have our first drop here. We've got our second drop down here, and then we have our swivel right here, and that will attach to your main line, hopefully some braid or some good strong mono. Let's catch some fish in 2023.